So yeah, for number 10, we did, we did 10A with you here. Um, simplify, then evaluate. Please remember order of operations, first of all. Second of all, we do have a rule that we just learned for multiplication of powers, but that doesn't apply to addition or subtraction. So we gotta be careful there. So A, we would use our little new little rule to find out what 10 squared times 10 squared is, but then when you add, you just have to add those numbers up. All right, if we look, take a look at B, it's similar, 10 cubed times 10 cubed minus 10 cubed. So that's going to be 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 cubed. So that's 1 million, that's 10 to the power of 6, minus 1,000. 1 million minus 1,000. So who knows what that is? Right, right. A million is 1,000 thousands. So if you take 1,000 away from 1,000 thousands, then you have 999,000. Okay? So we're subtracting 1,000 from 1,000 thousands. Okay, what about C? Let's take a look at C now. C says 10 to the 11 minus 10 cubed times 10 to the 6. So order of operations says that I do need to do the multiplication first. We have a rule for that. We don't have a rule for subtraction. So I'll rewrite 10 to the 11. And I will subtract this because I want to evaluate this first, which is 10 to the power of 9. So it might be helpful to write these out. That's a lot of zeros. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 10 to the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we want to subtract those. OK, well, where's our uh, commas might help here. I'm not sure if they will for you or not, but sometimes they help me. So <clears throat> do you see how I have 100? Uh, look, if I did that right, so that would be a million uh, billions, right? That's 1 million. That's 1 billion. So I have 100 billions, and I'm subtracting 1 billion. So I have 99 billions. <coughs> and there's your answer. Okay, and I'll let you do D by yourself now that you know that. So start with the multiplication here. So 10 plus 10 to the 7. Any questions on number 10?